Good morning, campers. We are seven weeks pregnant. I'm feeling like garbage. Um, my morning sickness is not just in the morning. Um, I have been shrekking, but um, throughout the day, like, I'll feel good. And I'll feel nauseous and then I will or will not get sick it just depends um, and that has seemed to be a cycle all day long um, starting in the morning I do like I said Shrek and then I'll eat a little bit I'll feel okay and then I'll start to feel nauseous and then just the cycle repeats itself which is okay it's a trade-off that I knew could happen and probably would happen and I'm definitely willing to accept that but just updating you guys um, I'm trying a few things I've tried the preggy pop drops or whatever and I have some peppermint like those little candies those peppermint candies I've tried um, sometimes crackers settles my stomach down sometimes just like a a Sprite or a Verner's has helped, but not always. So we'll see. Things did help with Harrison in the beginning and then and then they didn't. So we'll see if they continue to work or if we'll have a repeat of Harrison. Um, other than that, sometimes I feel very tired and sometimes I have like a ton of energy and I don't remember having this much energy in the first trimester with Harrison. Like, I feel like all I did with Harrison was sleep and I haven't really taken any naps in this pregnancy, but I do sit on the couch quite a bit <laughs> during nap time and right now I've been watching Love is Blind, but I just finished the last episode. The reunion is out tomorrow though, so I'm excited for that. Um, but then other days I have like tons and tons of energy like I just did a really good clean in the living room and I've just been working my butt off all day so I don't know it's really weird to me but it's kind of cool to see the differences between the two pregnancies so far so we'll see if it continues to be different or if they kind of trend to be the same um, looks like Harrison is waking up from his nap. Look at him. I had to put him in, I changed his clothes this morning. <laughs> to, the other day Tiffany was like, um, has Harrison been in his pajamas all day? Has Harrison been in his pajamas all week? I'm like, oh yeah. So I started putting him in regular clothes during the day. And um, I had to change him back into pajamas for nap time today because he leaked through his pajamas into his sleep sack and that was his last one. So I'm washing them right now, but I had to change him back into pajamas. Normally I just leave him in his regular clothes and throw a sleep sack on him. The pajamas are really cute. Kimberly Grosskopf sent them. I don't know how to say your last name, I'm sorry. She sent them there like gray with a little raccoon on the front. You guys will see him probably when he gets like when he actually comes out of bed. But yeah, right now he's just waking up. He takes his time. Like me. I like to like open my eyes and just lay in bed for a while before I actually roll out of it. That's the best. All right, well, I've jabbered enough for now so i'll talk to you guys in a little bit hi did you have a good nap i see you threw your passy on the floor one of them oh you want me to get it oops here we go i heard you in here you were going Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Are you being Santa Claus? Hmm? I know. 
Oh no! Oh, Your movie's not playing, is it? Yeah. No, because when you nap, mommy watches what she wants to watch. Oh no! All right, let's get you back into your regular clothes and change that diapy. Bye. <gasps> what? Boss. That is a baby, isn't it? It's boss baby. I'm back in business. Oh, just missed it. Choo choo. Choo choo. Chuck 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 choo choo. You want to ride? Yeah. Woody can go in there and ride on the train, huh? He's a little too tall. You just got to leave the lid up. Choo choo. Can Daniel Tiger ride on the train? No. Oh. Oh, where do you want me to go? What? Well, there goes the train. What do you want to do? Mm. Hmm. Was there a car in there? Oh no! Oh no! What happened to the rest of the train? There it is. Good job. Choo! Choo choo! Choo choo! Oh, thank you. My very own train. Habu! Habu! Yeah. Habu! That's Chris Pratt. No, 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 no. There's too much, it won't focus. There we go. <laughs> Hiya. 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 Oh, are you gonna direct the camera now? You're not in front of it anymore. Oh, do you wanna see yourself? Here you go. There you go. Oh. Uh, yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, oh, don't turn it off. Can you show me? Wait, 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 wait. I could probably cry right now, and I probably will because that's what the hormones are doing to me. I'm getting on the floor because I want to show you guys hair. So. How are those blueberries under there? Blueberries? He really likes to hang out under the table recently. And he wanted a snack, so. But anyways, back to the reason why I could cry. So, let's see, today is Wednesday. Monday. Tiffany didn't feel good, and she said, babe, if you don't go to work on Tuesday, will, will you pick up Chinese for lunch? And I was like, well, I don't really want to get it for lunch because um, we have some errands to run later on and we're probably going to pick up dinner. So I don't want to pick up food twice in one day. Did you just, did you just get the stem? Wow. That's amazing. Thank you. So ever since Monday, I've had it in my head that we were going to have Chinese. Well, yesterday we call to order Chinese and nobody answers the phone. Um, what's going on is the Chinese place in town that we go to, they are moving their locations right now. So they're closed because they're moving everything around and getting ready at their new location. So I, not too heartbroken over it, but my body is, like my mind's not heartbroken, but my body is like... <gasps> Oh my goodness, you've promised me Chinese food for three days now. It's all I can think about. <laughs> yeah, it's all I can think about, seriously. Like, I haven't, 
I had cravings like this with Harrison for sure. But this is probably my first one in this pregnancy. Like, I can't let it go. I cannot stop thinking about Chinese food. Hi. Hi. So we did pick up food last night, and usually we only pick up food once during the week. We allow ourselves to pick up food once, and every other night we make food. Um, and even once a week is a lot, but we're working on it. So Tiffany messages me and she says, what do you want from Panda Express? Oh, orange chicken and white rice and a lemonade. That's what I want. She's going to get it for us. Yes, she is. She's so great. I can just taste it in my mouth. And I tried to, like, get rid of the craving by eating one of those um, preggy pops because they're really sour and tart. And that's kind of what I'm craving is, like, the sweet and sourness of the orange chicken. So I'm like, maybe one of these will help, like a lemon one or something. That's really close. It's really citrusy. Right? And I ate one. And I'm like, well, that back for you. Say hi again. Hi. <laughs> you are so cute under there. Are you showing off? Yeah. We need a new tablecloth for the spring. That's, that one's very wintry and Christmassy. We'll have to see what's available. Did you find a truck under there? I was looking at the tablecloth. I'm sorry. Ready? Ready? Oh, I'm sorry. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh no! Oh no, it ran right into your blueberries. One, two, three. Oh no, it ran into the chair. Thank you. One more thing that I am super excited about, not this set on my chin by the way, is we got new plates. Um, the other ones that we had were stoneware and they were very heavy and they didn't fit in the cupboard very well and I had like all of the plates on a higher shelf. They were really hard to, it was just, a mess. The bowls wouldn't stack in one stack. We had to have two stacks and you couldn't like put them in a row because then the door wouldn't close. It was just a mess. So we had been relying on paper plates quite a bit. I know that some of you noticed because we did get a few comments telling us what we were doing to the environment. And we are well aware, but we got rid of the stoneware, which means we got new plates, which means we're going to stop using those paper plates. Yes, because the plates are thinner. They all fit on one shelf instead of staggering onto two different shelves. Let me show you. So we've got the small plates here, which we don't use very often. Bowls, big plates here. We used to have bowls stacked right here. These paper plates were down here, and then all of the stoneware plates were up here. So it was just a mess. But I need to see what I'm doing. Look at these plates. They're so cool. And our bowls. And the little plates look the same, too. Um, and Tiffany likes them, so that's great. She really likes the square plates she likes that aesthetic so we stuck with it and originally we were gonna try and find some Corel plates that we liked because I know that they're very very durable and you can drop them 
and they won't really break, but we didn't really find any designs that we liked on the Corel website. Plus they're expensive. So we found some that we kind of liked and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna order these. And then last second, because I was ordering them off Amazon, I'm like, well, let me just see what else Amazon offers. So I Googled square plates. And I think I did a place for like six people. Yeah, because we've got six bowls, six big plates, six little plates. So it was an 18 piece set. We don't need the bowl, or the, we need the bowls. We don't need the cups that come with it sometimes. And those plates, they're Amazon Basics plates, and they were like 60% less than the Corel plates. Now they are a different material, and they might break if you drop them, but they're thin, and they are, they're thin like the Corel plates. What happened? Are you having trouble? You having trouble? Anyways, they're thin like the Corel plates, um, which is what we were looking for. And Harrison doesn't really throw plates around, so we're not really worried about it. And they're cuter, and they're 60% less than the Corel plates. So we are really excited about that, and we are really excited to not be using paper plates anymore, or not as often. We were relying on them pretty heavily. So yeah. Oh, my wife is texting me, so I gotta get back to her. Back up. It's cold out there, back up. There she is. The best wife in the world. Oh, did you tell him I got your Chinese? Yes. Oh no! Oh no! What you happened? You spilled your toys that are supposed to be put away, but they're not. Those toys have been there months. I know. Months now. I know. Watch your step, sweetie. Okay. Oh no! What happened? He's, he's ready for that food is what it is. He's literally climbing up there mm -hmm. to try and get the food. Yes, I know. We'll get it. I got a plate out for you. You hungry, bud? You want to eat? Did you miss me? Will you tell him the bad news? What's the bad news? I don't know. They didn't have my lemonade. They didn't. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Chinese is so good. Are you with trying lemonade. to give me a rest? He really wants me to eat. All right, let's get your plate ready. All right, let's get your plate. Oh, mother-in-laws, aren't they lovely? What they do not, just Tiffany. wonderful. Right. Oh, you guys, we just had a really good chat with Mr. Wilson, and we figured out our whole issue that didn't even really exist about room, about space, about stuff with the addition of the new bebe. So, I feel really, do you feel good? Because I feel good. Uh, I feel okay. So what we're going to do is, I know that most of you guys remember how things are like set up like in, in our room and, and everywhere. So we'll take a couple of shots and then, I mean obviously this isn't going to happen overnight. We have the idea of what we want to do and everything. So we know what to do and... and so that way you'll kind of get to see like, a, oh, this is what they were talking about. I hope that makes sense because it made sense in my head. I'm still a little foggy, you know, from, from not feeling good. But it was a big deal. I mean, a lot of you guys have been asking questions like, are the kids going to share a room? Like, what's going to happen? And our plan and, and one of the reasons why we haven't been going out a lot and everybody like gets on us and says stuff like, oh, you guys don't leave the house all the time, blah, blah, blah. Well, we are also saving like every bit of money who we get because we're going to have to save for a down payment for a house because, you know, we we need a bigger place. And yeah, so that's kind of where we're at right now. So I feel like this is really confusing. Does it sound jumbled? A little bit. What right, thought right. should I stick with? Just one. So the thought that I'm sticking with for right now is that we believe we've 
figured out a way to fit everything that we need to fit into the house and actually make it more functional. Yes. Yeah. And that's a for now thing. So at for now, Harrison will still be in his room because he's going to be old enough to maybe have a big boy bed, you know, within the next year. And he's sleeping through the night. He's doing great. We really don't want to throw, you know, the new baby in there to, like, mess up his sleep schedule. Because I know you guys know Harrison definitely did the sleep regression a bunch of times. And it was really hard for us. So we don't want to relive that again. So anyway, I feel so much better. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted that I didn't even know. Like, yeah. And we're going to be able to donate a ton of stuff to the mustard seed again. And that makes me feel, you know. Like your plates? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, listen. I got these plates a long time ago. I really loved them. And I realized I've been having a hard time, like, thinking about letting them go. And, you know, Carrie was right. Like, it wasn't really a hoarding situation. I just thought we'd keep them. You know, if we, we ever had a bar, we could just put them away. Because it's only four plates. You know, four bowls and then four, like, little plates. But they are pretty heavy. They're very heavy. So, I don't even... Them. Right, like, we barely use them. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, why are you always using, you know, the paper plates or this and that? Well, it's because they've been really heavy. And now that we're using these plates here, which I know that everybody already saw them, mm -hmm. these plates are much lighter. And Harrison's been having a heck of a lot, like, an easier time eating. So, so yeah. Carrie helped me to see that. We probably don't need those plates, so... And it feels so good to be able to donate. Especially, you guys know how much it it means to me to donate stuff up to the mustard seed. Uh, for, for those of you who don't know, it's a, a place where battered women can go and they can bring their kids. And I believe they can bring their pets, too. Oh, I'm pretty sure they can bring pets now. But anyway, I think we're going to call it good for tonight. I know Carrie's got some stuff, and I'm still recovering, as you can hear. Um... So yeah, I think I think that's gonna be it. So thanks for uh, hanging out with us today. And thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity. Buzz has his hands on backwards. Oh, hey, <laughs> sure. He's not coming. Harrison, you wanna move the camera? Harrison, he is in the row. Nope, not happening. Bye guys. Take care.